does cloud your judgment, it does cloud your perception, clouds your memory. Um, and in, in nature it's designed to do that for a variety of reasons, but um, if you compare it to something like alcohol, it certainly does have an effect on a, on a human as well. I never thought I would be pregnant. I didn't expect to have a child at the age I was. I think I was absolutely petrified. Scared, I'm nervous because I come from a Muslim background and my dad and my mum wanted me to get married first. First education, then marriage, then having a child. But it was the other way around. Um, before you have your first baby, I don't think you are nervous because you don't really know how much pain you're going to go into. Well, oxytocin is a naturally occurring substance that's um, produced in the brain. It's a hormone. Um, and it's produced in a variety of circumstances, like such love making and childbirth and breastfeeding, a number of things really, called the love hormone for good reason. The thing that got me through all four pregnancies without pain relief was breathing exercises. If I sit here and explain it, I'm lying because no mother can explain that pain. It was so bad, I took it, they had to give me three epidural to release the pain. So by the time he was about to come, like my bottom part got so numb that I couldn't push. Pain didn't go whatsoever. I was in a lot of pain. But then, yeah, like I said, considering what I was feeling before, it was nothing. Now the naturally produced oxytocin um, it is the one that gives benefits such as endorphins in labour to give us a, a natural ability to cope with pain. If I still felt that same pain when they passed her to me, I wouldn't have been able to hold her because it was agony, but it does, it did go. You, you do see, the, see it as well, you know, you give the child to the mother and, and you can see there's, there's just beaming eyes everywhere. There is a certain look on a mum's face when he has just given birth and it's just that, that incredible new mum look, the eyes are wide open, the oxytocin's just absolutely pumping through at that point. When that first baby comes along, you're just overjoyed. I can still see me now in the labour room and Paddy was holding Sarah and... Oh, it's emotional. When she was first passed to me, I think her smiling, her first smiling, because you always think, oh, is it wind? But when you know it's actually a smile, and then his first word, even though it said daddy, was not cool, but... <laughs> the most for me is when she copies me. Or like, even the way she stands, like if I'm stood with my hand on my hip and I'll look, and she'll be like stood there like this. And I just think, oh my God. And then comes the sleepless nights, and you think, oh my word, what have I gone and done to myself? Because my husband had to go to work, so he had to have his sleep. And because I was breastfeeding as well, he didn't have the equipment, as he used to say, to do the job. That excitement, you can't put it into words, I don't think. From then, I just, like, the bond, like, every night when he's sleeping, I kept on keeping my eyes on him, so his heart, just to make sure if his heart is breathing fine. It just welds up from inside of you, and you can't say why. You just want to protect them and love them all the time. I'm just so proud of them all. When Olivia was coming out and they said, oh, her head's coming, all I was saying is, please don't be ginger. 